Recently, a poll was conducted that showed that a vast majority of Americans actually blame president Biden for the current recession here in the United States. Now the problem with that poll and the pollsters pointed this out is the fact that we're not in a recession at all. Now we're actually in a period of economic recovery. The economy is doing better month over month over month, but not only do a majority of Americans believe we're in a recession, but they believe that president Biden is responsible for this thing that of course doesn't exist. That leads me to another viewer question. This is from uh, Cheryl Lamoth 2866, who asks, how do we fix the complete untruths in voters? Voters think Biden is to blame for abortion problems. First off, what's wrong with people? And secondly, how do we fix it? First off, what's wrong with people is that they tune into media that routinely lies to them. If you go and you look at the Newsmax website, the Fox news website, I mean, hell, even the Hill, uh, but mostly all those far right websites, you're going to go on there. And what you're going to see is story after story after story about how horrible the economy is, about how bad everything is in the United States, about hordes of migrants coming over the Southern border. It's fear, 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 but most importantly, it's all propaganda, but these outlets sometimes get picked up by other outlets, or you have other outlets that will take a piece of data, like the data that recently came out last week, showing us that, you know, 40% of Americans say that they're living paycheck to paycheck, which is horrific, but it also is not a reflection of president Biden, but they will blame things like that on president Biden. The reason people are uh, living paycheck to paycheck in this country is not because of something president Biden did. They're living paycheck to paycheck because the company that they're working for, the person that they're working for is paying them crap wages. But the media always looking for outrage spins it as well. This is Biden's fault. What's Biden going to do? How's he going to fix the price? How's he going to give people more money? It's, it's not up to him. It's up to the people that these folks work for. That's why unions are important. That's why organized workers are important. That's why organized strikes are important. And we used to have a country that did that up until Reagan came along, started busting up the unions. That's when the middle class started disappearing in the United States. So you want to blame somebody politically, go back and blame Ronald Reagan for it, not president Biden, but it's the media's job to correct this information, but they don't do that job because that's not how you get clicks. That's not how you get ratings. That's not how you get advertisers. You want people to tune in. You got to give them outrage. You got to give them something to get pissed off about, but more importantly, you got to tell them who to be pissed off at, even if it's not accurate. You know, you can spin things in a way that makes them untrue, but they don't go into the territory of slander, libel, and defamation. So they can tell their untruths. They can't be sued for them. And people go about believing these false things. That's how it happens. And you fix it by fixing the media. Now, how do you fix the media? That I don't know that I don't think is possible. Or you switch what media you look for. You go to people like David Pakman or Sam Cedar. You go to Jesse Dollimore. You go to Mike Figueredo at the Humanist Report, Jeff Waldorf. There's a bunch of great people out there. David Dole. Uh, you go to those people because they're going to give you the truth and they're going to cut through all of the spin and bull crap that the other media refuses to cut through. That's how you fix the problem. Hey everybody. I don't know if you've noticed this, but we are closing in on a pretty major milestone here at fair and balanced as we approach 500,000 subscribers, but we're not there yet. And we definitely need your support. So if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget like and comment on the videos and share them as widely as possible.